Ambassador Paulstein, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, honor, this award, is um, of tremendous meaning to me, and I am heartened by it, and I am humbled by it, and I feel a uh, a sense of accomplishment tonight that, that I've communicated what I feel to be a very important, enduring, and essential attitude about the relationship between our two great countries. I thank the French American Foundation from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for your tribute to me, but I also thank you for your fervent support and belief in what I hope to express as an underlying and bedrock theme of the book. I'm also enormously pleased to be one of the recipients of such abundant, beautiful, elegant hospitality. And on the Bowery. <laughs> this is the most memorable spectacle to stand here where I am right now and see all of you in this light, in this setting. And to realize that elegance and respect for accomplishment, respect for other cultures, nations, and mutual friendship are alive and well in the hearts of good people who are leaders in numerous fields. At the gateway to our country, the harbor of this, our greatest city, stands the emblematic symbol of the spirit of America, a gift from another country. As as great and as, as inspiring a gift as has ever been given by one country to another. Our capital in Washington was designed by a French engineer and architect. French names are scattered across our country, north, south, east, west, on rivers, lakes, states, cities, towns, colleges. Now, we may not pronounce them correctly, <laughs> but there they are. This foundation was established in 1976, 200 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence. The fulfillment of the noble ideas and words of the Declaration of Independence would have almost certainly never happened had it not been the contributions of France. The financial support from the French for our armed rebellion and the presence and action here on our soil and on our seas by the French Navy and the French Army under Rochambeau. People forget that. We must never forget it. We must never forget that the country was more than doubled in size by Jefferson signing the purchase of Louisiana Territory. We must never forget that structures like the Brooklyn Bridge owe their very existence to the developments of ingenious uh, conceptions and practices in, in structural engineering by the French. And we must never forget that more Americans are buried, lie in the soil of France, than any place in the world except here in our own country. France is sacred ground to we Americans. Over 60,000 Americans who served in the two world wars. One of the lessons of history is that very little of consequence is ever accomplished alone. It's true of individuals, and it's true of nations. 
We have accomplished, we, France and America, have accomplished far greater achievements working together than we ever could have alone. And I know that's the very basis of what this foundation stands for. But I also feel very strongly that one of the great lessons of history is that history isn't just about politics and the military. It's about everything. And my great feeling is that in the long run, how we have expressed ourselves on both sides of the Atlantic, in art, music, architecture, medicine, science, in ideas, will last longer than anything. So here's to us, and let's, let's continue in the same good spirit. Let's continue to foster leadership among our young men and women on both sides of the Atlantic in a spirit of goodwill, good-heartedness, and in, with a sense of purpose that tomorrow may even truly be an improvement on today. On we go. Ladies and gentlemen,